In today's video, we're going to be talking about www and should we be using www in our web addresses? So the first thing I want to look at is Google SEO. Which one is better using www or not using www? I'm going to talk about the brief history of www in web addresses and the technical reasons for websites using www, especially large websites. Um, and is there any reason to still be using WWW in 2023? Which one is going to be better uh, for newer websites? And what are my general recommendations? So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Let's start with the most obvious and interesting question. Which one is better for search engine optimization in Google? Which one is going to rank better using WWW or using just the root name by itself? Now, um, this was asked directly to Google back in 2018 and John Mueller from Google actually answered. He said, you can use whichever you prefer. Google systems have no preference either way. Sometimes there are technical reasons to go one way or the other, but often it's just a matter of personal preference. But the other thing you want to consider is shorter URLs do tend to rank better. And why is that? So we could quickly see that removing the www makes the URL shorter. Does that mean it will rank better? Let's have a closer look. Neil Patel did a study about six years ago that showed that the average number one site was around 50 characters long. And as you made a longer URL length, the average position in Google was a little bit lower. So you could conclude from here that having a longer URL length is not going to rank well as having a shorter URL length. Now, why could that be? A more recent study done by Backlinko found that um, the average URL length yeah, for a top 10 result in Google is 66 characters. Now this was done a little more recently. I think URL lengths have gotten a bit longer because newer web addresses have had to choose uh, longer .com names to find free .com names. So we can see that uh, the top 10 ranking pages are usually in that 50 to 100 character length there with the 66 as your average. Now, personally, I don't believe that Google is actually using the number of characters as a ranking factor. What I think they are using is the organic click-through rate. That's a user experience factor. How often is it when a user sees the link that they want to actually click on it? I think Neil Patel describes this a bit as well here. So when you've got a nice simple looking URL here with your domain and some keywords in there with a slash, that one has a higher click-through rate than having a post ID number and a couple of keywords listed. And that has a high uh, click-through rate again, of just using random characters um, with your domain name and a random subdomain there, that's going to have a much worse click-through rate than something like that. So simplifying your URL as much as you can is going to lead to a higher click-through rate. Do I think that removing www is going to help or not? I think very, very slightly it might help someone recognize the domain names, branding a little more quickly without www. That's just my personal um, interpretation of this data. But the main thing is, I think, just keeping the URL as readable as possible. If we were to actually do a quick test, best basketball sneakers, we can see the number one result actually is using www. And the length of this URL is actually 54 characters. So it is fairly short. Um, you've got a P for page there with a slash and best basketball shoes. So three keywords. Um, you've got www, a short.com there. So overall, fairly short, fairly readable. I think that's your takeaway. Keep things simple. Um, if you can fit www in and keep the length fairly short still, I think it's still going to work quite well. If we look at the second one, um, that one actually does not use WW. So um, that one's probably under 50 characters there when we look at that URL. So why do sites even use WWW? What is the point of putting it on there? I think historically it was a way of making it clear that the address is for a website. But nowadays we kind of just assume if you see a web address, it's going to be for a website. So um, so back in the day, you'd put www, just to be clear that you're talking about a website, you're not talking about a file server, you're not talking about a mail server. Some of the older people in the audience here might recognize news servers on Usenet or even chat servers, IRC chat servers. Um, they all had their own um, specific subdomain so you could recognize them when they were written out. Um, but yeah, like I said, in recent years, when a server address is written or spoken, people just assume that it is a web server. So using www has fallen from popular use because it is kind of redundant. Also, historically, there are some technical reasons why sites would use www. Uh, early multi-server setups were easier to set up on www for load balancing and content delivery network reasons. And we can still see some very major websites using www on their address. Um, Google and YouTube are obviously um, very popular examples of sites that still use www. I'll go through some of those now. So we can actually see Google is still using the www on its own web address. We can see uh, Amazon still using www. Those are 
two of the biggest websites. One of the big notable exceptions is Twitter. Twitter does not use it. So it's obviously possible to design a very large load balancing setup um, with a major URL like Twitter um, without the WW these days. So um, there's no real technical reason these days, but um, historically there has been some reasons to do that. So with all that out of the way, are there any reasons to still use WWW? For me, there's no deal-breaking reasons to still be using it. It's mostly personal preference. For a .com or a .net, I'd prefer to use non-WWW myself. These are already recognized as being a web address when someone sees a .com or a .net. I think it's quite obvious. You don't really need the WW. Uh, if you were using a newer top-level uh, domain name, like for example, I've put um, Sarah.salon, if the website was Sarah.salon written out on a business card or a sign, I probably would want to use the www in that case, just to make it clear um, that that is a web address. But other than that, I think it doesn't really matter. All right, conclusions and recommendations. Should you use www? I think it's personal preference. My personal preference is to not use it in most cases, especially with .com and .net. I like to keep things a little bit shorter, a little bit more readable. I think that will have a little bit higher organic click through. Um, but um, other than that, I think it's just personal preference. Check and make sure your website does work with both because you might get link backs using WW or not using WW. Uh, most hosting setups are going to get this right straight away. You shouldn't have a problem there. But if one of those doesn't work, either contact your host or check your documentation and make sure you've got your website working with both of those um, with and without WWW. Uh, for WordPress users, just use a good SEO plugin like Rank Math or Yoast. Make sure you've got good, clean, readable URLs that are going to get the best possible click-through rates and um, try to keep the length under about 80 characters, I think. Um, just keep uh, one or two or three keywords in the um, length of your page there. Should keep it under that, that guideline length. But that's basically all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.